What is going on? My name's Kyle. Welcome back to another episode of Wisconsin Fisherman. What we're doing today is we're going to talk about fish cribs. Now, I had one of my buddies tell me that there isn't fish cribs in Minnesota, which is mind-blowing to me because it really helps the habitat of the lake. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't, but he says, yeah, in Minnesota, we don't have fish cribs. Maybe, I don't know. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to talk about them a little more. I've done this probably about three years ago I talked about fish cribs, but what we're gonna do today, we're gonna drop the camera down. I got it all ready to go right here. And actually I'm pretty close to one cause on the side imaging, this here is a fish crib that's gonna be on the left side of the boat, probably about maybe 40 feet that way or so. But I'm already marking lots of fish. All these marks on the screen here, these are all fish. And uh, I know I'm not over top of a fish crib, but what we're gonna do, let's just drop the camera down right now just to see what's down below the boat. That's the cool thing about these aqua views is that you can literally just, we're gonna hit record, got a little recorder thing, and we're rolling. So let's drop this over the edge. I got some cord right here already ready to go, and we're going down. So what are we gonna see down here? Oh, bluegill already. Bluegills, 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 holy smokes. No, and that's the thing how these fish cribs work is they they draw in you know micro bacteria and then from there little bluegills come eat that bigger bluegills come by however the food chain works but uh, that's why that's why we do fish cribs in wisconsin like i said i know i'm pretty close to one there's a, a small little smallmouth bass there yeah a little smallmouth that's kind of neat oh there's a fish crib right there in the back so a little closer to it than i thought i was but as we're dropping down we're in uh we're in 20 foot of water too just just as a heads up so lots of little smallmouth bass down there so very that's a that's a really good sign that you know it's got a good smallmouth population here there's a fish crib right there kind of looks like a little log cabin jammed full of sticks but uh what we'll do is i'm gonna boat a little closer to it Ooh, carp Big carp. Look at all them smallmouth. Holy cow. Ooh, spooked them. Oh, there's a, that one. No, that's not nice. It just looks nice. But holy cow, lots of fish down there. You can see it's kind of a rocky bottom here. Pretty awesome of how many I didn't think there's gonna be that many smallmouth down there. That's crazy. I'm gonna bring the camera back up. That's a you know, that's another nice thing is you could be sitting there fishing over top of them thinking they're walleyes or something, and then all you're catching are these little smallmouth, but and then you realize drop the camera down there, boom, instant. Here's a really good picture. The boat must have swung. It's right here. Kind of the you know that's the side imaging now that we're not we're not moving the side imaging doesn't read the greatest when you're when you move past something it's it's amazing but uh what i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is take just a crappie minnow a setup that i've really been liking um i got these fox river rods just to try them out and the owner's pretty awesome guy he told me to give them a test run and they're doing pretty good fox river rods anyways um this time of year, I like using floaters and then having a, like a bullet sinker. This is, I think this is a 3 16 and then a little um, snap, what do they call it? Split shot, a little split shot right there. Um, and then this sits on the bottom and this floats up. So you've seen them smallmouth are just right off the bottom. So basically all I'm gonna do is hook this little minnow right through the nose, just like that. Now he's going to float. We're just going to drop this right over the edge. And we're going to go straight down with it. It shouldn't be but instant that we get a fish. We'll let it go all the way down to the bottom. And once it's down there, all I'm going to do is, it's down there right now, I'm just going to put a little pressure on it. I'm just going to kind of hold it there. And then hopefully, you know, we'll feel a fish pick it up. I like to hold my finger on the line sometimes. It kind of helps. It helps you get a good judgment of where it's at. And with these floaters, you can cast them out kind of reel them back in nice and slow a um, few few different things you can do with them so nothing slammed the uh, floater right away but i moved the boat forward just now 
Here's uh, fish cribs, fish cribs. There's actually one, two, three. I think there's like four fish cribs right here. We are going backwards because it's double reading that. But uh, I'm gonna drop the camera down. Now that we're like right over them, we're gonna drop it down again and uh, see what's on this. I mean, we moved just a little bit, so it's not gonna be like a huge, there's probably still smallmouth down there, but each crib is gonna hold different fish. It's, it's interesting. Oh, smallmouth. We got down there really quick. Smallmouth, smallmouth, smallmouth. Look at, what are those? Are those all bluegill? Oh my goodness. No. Yeah. Mostly bluegill. That is insane. You guys, this is wild. There's the other one. The other thing, the only bad thing about fish cribs is you get a lot of snags. There's some rock bass. You really have a meal of rock bass down here. Well, hi, buddy. Get out of here a little bit so we don't get snagged with the camera. Now, this, there's a pile of cribs right here. There's all the bait. So that's basically how it works. There's your food chain right there. You got all the little ones and then they just, the big ones come to eat those. Look at that, nice smallmouth hanging out on the outskirts there. That's cool. That's a nice bluegill. Oh my gosh, that one looks like a tank too. Oh, it's looking right at the camera. Turn sideways, let's see your hump on your nose. Ah, he's got a small back, eh? Rah, scare ya, scare ya. All right, so with this, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna take the camera, I'm gonna point it downwards. So the camera, instead of looking sideways, the camera's pointing down. And then I'm gonna drop my pole right over the edge. Maybe we can watch something. Now remember, we're looking down at the cribs now. So let's leave that about there. I'm gonna grab my rod with the minnow on it. We're gonna drop it down right by the camera. Ooh, something just jumped. Y'all hear that? Here it is. Look at it just getting attacked. So I think I should be probably a little bit deeper Maybe one of those rock bass could come out and eat it. Oh, here's a smallmouth. Oh man, I thought he was gonna come get it. Raise it back up a little bit. That's a dandy bluegill biting at it, ain't it? Oh, is that a smallmouth? Oh my gosh, that's a tank smallmouth too. Come and eat, buddy. Eat this. Oh, there we go. That was a little smallmouth. I don't want to go too deep because I don't want to get stuck on the crib. I, there we go. On. 
I think this is just a rock bass or something. Yeah, just a rock bass, but that's pretty neat being able to watch them down there. I think instead of the floater, I think I'm just gonna put a jig so then I can jig it while I'm actually watching it because that was kind of neat. Oh, you know what I could do? I could put on a, I got some sucker minnows in here and I could put a sucker minnow on a jig and maybe one of those small mouths will come and grab a big sucker minnow. Not a big sucker minnow, but a, you know, a medium-ish sucker minnow. All right, so here is my jig, sucker minnow, just like that. A little bit bigger minnow. Hopefully he stays in camera view. Let's go down. I want to see something big eat him. There we go. Come on, big smallmouth. Where are you at now? Good chunk of minnow down here for you. Oh, oh, guys, did you see that? Oh my gosh, he's there, he's there, he's there. Come on and eat. Oh, he's down on the bottom. Guys, that's a giant smallmouth down there. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, he was picking at it. Come back, come back. That was a rock bass. There we go. Oh, that's just a rock bass though. Big rock bass to eat the sucker minnow. All right, fish crabs hold lots of rock bass too. That's another thing I forgot. Here we go. Drop it back down there for that big smallmouth. Today's mission, big smallmouth. And we'll go to some different cribs too. Maybe, maybe some different cribs will have bigger fish. Some little smallmouth. Here comes a big one. Oh, boys and girls, did you see that fish? On, on, we got him. Oh, we got him. Where's my net? Oh! <laughs> you guys! Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> Look at that smallmouth. Oh. He is a beast! Absolute tank! Wow. Okay, I'm gonna get a quick measurement. Here we go, guys. Big old tank smallmouth. Look at how healthy this fish is. 20 and a half inches, I'm gonna let her go back. All right, beauty of a smallmouth. Come on, baby. Go right back down on, under the camera so we can see that. Would that be cool? We just get to watch her go right back. There she goes. Wait, no, that wasn't it. That was still cool though. So, fish cribs, little fish, big fish eat little fish. That's why we make fish cribs and we put fish cribs out. Now, who puts the fish crib out? DNR, Lake Association, there's different rules and regs for fish cribs in Wisconsin, I don't know them. But if you can find them on your side imaging and you can fish them, there's big fish, obviously. Wow, that was awesome, wow. All right, so I'm gonna move from this set, and this lake has another set. I'm gonna move to the other set and see what that one has to offer. 
Now, I have all these cribs like marked on my graph and whatnot, but if you weren't, um, you know, what you're gonna look for for a fish crib, I'll show you what it's gonna look like on your side imaging. So we got side imaging on the top, down imaging on the bottom. So here we go. They're on the right side of the boat. So there's one fish crib in its shadow. There's another one. So those are fish cribs. I'm running chart speed three. So there's a whole bunch of fish cribs that is on the right side of the boat. So I'm gonna take the boat, I'm gonna go over that way. And that's why, you know, if you guys don't know about side imaging or, or know how it works, that is how side imaging works, it scans. So really useful tool to be able to find stuff. And then um, even if we didn't have the camera, I mean, we could still just sit there and fish on top of the cribs and catch fish. So we're scooting over top of it. We're scooting the boat to the right. We're gonna stop until it's right over top of it now. Well, we should be right this way. We're gonna get over 19 foot of water here. There's one. So they're still to our right a little bit. I'm gonna swing the boat over this way. Kinda getting over top of that one. Now if we were directly over top of it, they would be on both sides. So since we went past them, I'm going to back up on top of them now. And that should put us pretty much right over top of them. And then this is the down image, so you'll see them on the down image if, when we get over top of them. There we go. So we went right over top of that one. You can see it on the down image. We have the tool motor anchor us right here. There's some there. There's the other two there. So now, basically the back of the boat is right over those fish cribs. We'll jump up here on the camera. We just stopped on those fish cribs. First, we're gonna start with the camera looking, looking uh, horizontal. So we're gonna start off sideways. And here we go, four, let's go. Let's see what we're working with down here. So right away, we got the bluegills. Gotta have your bait fish bluegill or bait fish I, I would say small mouth that was a tail of a smallie good fish look at how red those rock bass's eyes are Well, should we drop a sucker minnow down here and see how long it lasts for? Look at that. That thing's probably four foot tall fish crib. That thing's huge. Another one there. Now there's not as many fish on this one as there was the first one we were on, but we'll give her a go. Drop the camera straight on facing down. Go again. Be about here. Should be good. Put the camera up just to, ooh, hair. Uh oh. That's a giant bluegill down there. Oh my gosh, that bluegill is absolutely huge. Oh my gosh. That bluegill on the left coming up right now. That's a tank bluegill. Drop down on him. Could you imagine if that bluegill eats a sucker minnow, how big it is? 
rock bass coming out. Yeah, they're gonna chow down. That one looks pretty big. You got the hook? He's got the hook. That's a big rock bass. Holy smokes. Come on now. Good fish. Now these eat just like bluegill. They taste just like a bluegill basically. So you get a pile of these. They get a you know a little bigger, a little longer, a little fatter, rounder, but uh that's a it's a pretty good chunk. Okay, let's do something different. Let's uh, go to a different spot. Lots of bluegill here, lots of rock bass here. No giant smallmouth. So let's move. See what else we got. All right, so I just, I think I set up on some more cribs. Um, they're down there. I just don't know if I'm right on top of them or not. So first I'm gonna start off with dropping camera horizontally. Let's see what's down there. It looked like there might have been two big marks on this crib, but no bluegills like there has been in the in the past. Like there just didn't look like there was much hanging on it. Small mouth, small mouth, and I'm whoa 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 whoa. Okay, there's, there's a couple bluegill, couple bluegills, decent. Come eat the camera. That one in the back's decent actually. So I'm not quite. Whoa, them are some good bluegills. Those are good. I mean, we're in 20, 22 feet of water, so some bluegills on the bottom, you know, they're they're decent. And I don't see a crib, but I'm close. There it is. It's that way. So I'm going to raise this up a little bit. I'm going to wiggle the boat just kind of that way. And uh, see if I can't get a little closer to the crib. Pretty close to it, maybe. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, look at them gills. Oh man, okay. We're on a monster bluegill mission now because I want to catch one of those bluegills. That thing's probably, I mean, they're not huge bull, bulls, but they're good, that's a good bluegill. Don't see any rock bass to compete with. Just some nice big bluegill. So, point the camera down. I'm gonna put a crappie minnow on. And uh, let's see if we can't get a big, big old bluegill. How far do I want to go down here? Oh, not that far. Oh, yay. Yeah, we're pretty close to the crib now. So I got an idea. I might put a worm on my floater. Just a little chunk of worm. Because we're monster bluegill mission has begun. It shouldn't last too long. A little, little further, buddy. A little higher up. Come on. See the worm? Yeah, you see that? Oh, come on. Come on. On! Woohoo! Okay. I mean, not small, but not a giant. I, I thought I was going to be a little bigger than that, but let's, uh, let's see if there's any other ones down there. Decent bluegill. All right, well, I'm gonna give up on the monster bluegill mission there for a second, because we're gonna go to a different set of cribs. These ones, these ones didn't have, I know these ones isn't a word. If you actually look it up, these ones, it's these. These cribs didn't have uh, many fish on them. So I'm gonna go to a different set. That's kind of in some weeds. This lake doesn't have many weeds, but um, there's some cribs up kind of by some weeds. And that might be why they put a lot of cribs in this lake is because there's not a lot of vegetation and they, you know, trying to build some type of structure for the fish or hiding, things like that. But uh, we'll see you at the next set. So we are at another spot. Now this crib set I've actually caught walleyes on before. So let's see if there's not any down there. Money. Ooh, large mouth. Okay. Nice largey. 
Oh, interesting. Okay. Decent school of largemouth. Wow. Nice smallmouth. Okay, okay. I'm going to slowly pull this out of here. I'm going to put down a minnow right now. Let's get one of these largemouth. I don't know. So that's completely... Uh, some cribs have bluegill. Some have smallmouth, largemouth. All right, right about here. Let's get a minnow down there. I'm just gonna go minnow on the jig this time. See ya. See if that produces a large mouth. Here we go. Here comes a minnow. Come on, large mouth, where are you at? Oh, guys, that's a giant smallie on the right. Did you see that? Oh, there he is. Look at that fish. That's another 20 inch smallmouth. I guarantee, darn. Tootin' Tia, that that is another 20 inch smallmouth. Come on, it's running from you. It's running from you. Come eat it. Oh man. So those are big bluegills again. Drop the camera just a hair, just a hair. Let's get it down there a little. A little further, right there. So where'd them large mouths go? All right, guys, new crib. I'm gonna toss it over. Tornado. No, that means it's one. Noon. It's noon. Let's see here. Come on, fish. Big old gill. There's the crib. There's another crib. Oh, is that a carp? Look at that. Big old carp. That's neat. Whoa, another one. Oh, that's cool. That's a giant. Look at that fish. Decent bluegills still. So these, these are holding nice bluegills. I'm gonna do the down view. Put the jig in the minnow down. Lots of nice bluegills over here. Wow. All right, what's well gonna come along and just chomp it? Wow. Tons of bluegills down here. smallmouth so I guess this is a good way to shut her down from here but um, 
I hope you guys learned something about cribs and fishing cribs. Um, yeah, Wisconsin has cribs. I don't know, do other states have cribs? Comment below, let me know. Tank smallmouth today. This guy will grow up to be a 20 incher as well. But uh, yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Giant bluegill down there right now even. But I'm gonna call her a day. We, we, I just wanted to putz around with the camera again because I missed the camera. But uh, yeah, check out Aqua View stuff. I'll leave a link in the description below. Get yourself a camera if you don't have one because they're pretty, pretty awesome. But uh, like always, thanks for watching. If you guys aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. So cool.